Shalom friends, Bob Mendelson here answering a question from Larry who wanted to know about the forbidden chapter of Isaiah 53. Is Isaiah 53, he said, actually in the Jewish Bible? Well, of course it is. If it weren't, then Isaiah 54 would be 53 and 55 would be 54. You get the idea. There wouldn't just be a big missing pixel right there. But what he might be referencing is this, and I'm reading from the Haftorahs, that is the section of Jewish Bible that is read accompanying the Torah portion each week during the northern summer here in Australia. It's in the winter. And during the final months of the year, that's July, August, we are reading from the book of Isaiah mostly chapter 1, then chapter 40 with the Nachamu, it begins there. Then we read chapter 49, 50, and 51. Then we read 54 and 55. Then 51 and 52. Then 54. Then 60, 61. 55 and 56. Well, you get the idea. There's an assortment of readings. But listen, if I reconfigure that, you'll hear that we read 49, 50, 51, 52, 54, 55, and 56. Sounds like we're not forbidding the reading of chapter 53, but we're just skipping it. It's not the only messianic prophecy that is skipped in the reading of the Nach, the prophets and the writings in association with the Torah readings. But I understand why some people say it's forbidden. It certainly is a difficult chapter if you know the story of Yeshua. The story of Yeshua about a Jewish man born in Bethlehem who died, who rose from the dead, and then whose followers use Isaiah 53 to claim him as Messiah. Well, that's what my shirt says. That's what the ministry of Jews for Jesus says. What do you say? Shalom.